Hey guys, it's Mitchell from Bud Talk Studios. Uh, we're playing Diablo 3, uh, which is a game that just came out. Um, you know, about a week or two ago, I guess. A couple weeks ago, I don't know. Anyways, um, this is not the beginning of the game. Uh, this is... I'm only 15 levels in, in this, uh, this video right here. Uh, the reason why this is video one is because uh, I did have a video or levels one through 15 recorded, but I used Bandicam to record all of my game footage. And uh, apparently, the version that I had had problems with Diablo that they just fixed in this version. I don't know. Uh, so, and I figured out, like, that, you know, all my videos were extremely laggy and they weren't, like, unwatchable and all that shit. So, I could not have them uploaded. So, I'm starting out right here. I could explain to you guys what's all going on here. Um. In a minute here, but, uh. Well, apparently, like, I don't know, this one chick named Leah, whatever. She had an uncle named Deckard Kang. Did research about all these different shit. Pretty soon, this fucking guy comes falling from the sky, brings like disease and all this stuff. Everybody turns into zombies, trying to figure out what's going on. Still don't really, really, really know what's going on, but uh, you just kill two bosses. One's the skeleton king, which you kill already in the beta. If you've already played the beta. And uh, the other one is just one this this big fat ass butcher, and that's all that Act One is. Just this is the beginning of Act Two right here. Um, so pretty much it also explained that, like there's like seven main demons. Uh, you know, one is Diablo, which I'm guessing is the last boss that you play. But right now I think that there's one called Belial. Which I guess is like the demon of lies. I don't know. But uh, I think you're, I think you're going to try to kill him in this, uh, this, um, I guess area. This game is pretty big, pretty long. I think it took me about four or five hours to beat Act One with one of my friends here. But uh. Jeez, it is really fucking hard to concentrate and talk at the same time when destroying all these fucking minions. This game is probably the goriest game I've ever seen. Like, if you just watch some of the kills here, like, you chop their heads off, their heads period, like, their whole body explodes, like, there's limbs that will just, like, rip off from different parts of them, you know? Their leg will shoot off. It's really fucking crazy. Like, it, like there's people that just, like, some people, like, when you kill them, they just, like, float up in the air and they explode into a million pieces. It is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, there is so much blood in this game, it's ridiculous. Like, there's more red than anything in this game. That's probably not true, but it seems like it. Uh, I've never played Diablo 1 and 2, so I just kind of, you know, bought this game kind of on a whim. I looked on some gameplay. And, uh, this game looks a lot like Gauntlet, uh, Dark Legacy in the GameCube. Really, really good game, if, if anybody's ever played it. Played it. Really, really fun. If you haven't played it, go buy a GameCube and get Gauntlet Dark Legacy, because that game's amazing. A lot like this game. So I bought it, because Gauntlet's really fun. Just kind of assumed that this game would be really, really fun. And, um... Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely was worth it so far. Uh, what I'm playing as, I'm playing as a demon hunter, which is kind of a ranged person. You know, he does range attacks. Um, his range attacks sets traps, all that shit. Um. My friend here is playing as is a barbarian, 
pretty much just like a general default class. You know, he's good at everything. He's good at defense. He's good at attacking. You know, he can, he can, he's pretty much, you know, can do anything you want him to. You can make him a tank or you can make him a, an attacker. Whatever you want him to. What, what this, my, my guy pretty much has low health. Uh, gets killed really easy and can shoot but does a lot of a lot of damage. Um he's messing there. Can't remember what I was trying to get him to do. Fucking I think I was trying to make him join like an Xbox Live party. I don't know. Losing strength. My strength is back. Yeah, this is the part in the like the first act is like easy as shit. Like you can blow through that, no trouble. Really, really, really easy. But this, I've started to notice that this second act is a really, really, it like goes from easy to hard really fucking fast. Like, you don't even know what hit. You start dying, all this shit. You know, like, you, you have like, you have like 40, 50 health packs saved up from Act 1. You haven't used one of them. Pretty soon in Act 2, you find yourself with like 15 health packs. That's what my guy has. He had like 15 health packs. It was. Not, not even, not even cool. Like, it's, it's, it's insane. It's like, uh, the craziest difficulty turn I've ever seen. But trust me, it does get, look, 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 look at all these fucking, these bugs, like, take down my health, like, a fourth every time it hits me. So, I mean, they go in a straight line, but I'm, like, I'm weaving around, doing all these fucking, like, ninja moves, trying to make them not hit me. Yeah, I never used to do that in Act 1. Didn't have to. But hey, I like a challenge. Alright, now what the fuck am I supposed to do here? I'm getting surrounded. Alright, so pretty much, uh, I have some abilities that you don't start out with. Grenades are one of the which abilities that you do not start out with. You start out with just an arrow attack. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, level 15, not that far into the game, but I have some abilities, you know, a few abilities, not, not, not even near half as much as abilities yet, but, uh, this game is pretty high level cap. I think you just start at locking them, like, every single level you unlock, like, two. There's a lot of abilities. That includes, like, runes and stuff like that. Not just abilities, but upgrades to abilities pretty much. Yeah, beat him, but I mean, so far, I'm like, you know, five hours into the game, something like that. And I think this this game is uh, really, really, really good. I mean, it, it is, it, it looks, it's really, really simple. Really, really simple, and it, it's really addicting. It's like a, an awesome combination. Like, seriously, I haven't even played Diablo 1 and 2. Picked up this game. I mean, not that hard to, you know, get used to. If you've been playing The Old Republic, I mean, and you've never played a game like this in your entire life, yeah, you're gonna have some difficulties playing it for your first time. Trust me. Even though, you, you know, because people have played RPGs before think, like, you know, that would be really, really easy to play. But if you've never played an RPG before, it should be hard to pick up. This, this game is not hard to pick up. Literally, it's like, there's no WASD. It's point... And click pretty much that's what the game is and you know it's just so simple it's addicting just like you know leveling up your abilities leveling up period getting all these things this is actually speaking of which 
This is actually the, uh, this is actually the craziest thing I've ever heard put any video game ever, ever made, ever made. Okay. So, I think June 12th, they are releasing a thing called the Real Money Auction House, where you can buy and sell your in-game items for real money. Uh, what's, I mean, you might think, okay, what kind of loser is going to buy shit that will pay more money for things, you know? They can get for free in the game if they just play. Well, there's a shit ton of nerds out there that will pay a lot of money to be crowned king nerd in this game. And, uh, you know, what's crazy about that is that you can sell all your shit in this auction house and actually make money. Like, they'll, 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 they'll give you the money. They'll credit you. I don't know how, but they, they credit you somehow. And you can make money. You can pay for you can pretty this pretty much this game could pay for itself. And what's awesome about that is like well what's genius about that is it gives pe like people a reason to play. Like why not just play it and make I mean make money. I mean it, it's a pretty genius idea. I think it's really cool and definitely like you can you can rack up all this rare item all these rare items and shit. And then you know you can go on this real money auction house and you can sell it for. You know, 15, 20 bucks if you want it, to. It, it's like eBay, you know? They can bid on items, you or they can just buy it out. Delivered unto me as a it's really, really cool. I have never it's seen that Lord before. Belial. And uh, it well, definitely has me playing, looking forward to it, and stuff like that, you know, trying to save up these rare items and stuff for it. No, so, yeah, I mean, you can sell probably as, as little as one penny to, uh, you know, as much as a hundred bucks. I don't know. But, uh,. It's gonna open up June twelfth. So that's what they're predicting at least. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Like what's all about? Like how they're gonna get you money and stuff like that. I I, I mean I know that your like BattleNet account, just like the account that you know that you make that you play off of in this game. I, I know like if you sign on to BattleNet, there's an amount up in the top right hand corner that you can like deposit and withdraw stuff. So I'm guessing that's going to be, they're going to you know, do it like that, but. Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty, pretty crazy. I've never heard of that happening in any game. And it's pretty genius if you ask me by the creators. Definitely all play, people playing more. And, and they're probably, they'll probably even take like a small percentage of that, you know, it's just a tiny percent of that. Which means they'll even make money afterwards, because they, they don't they don't charge you uh, a monthly fee to play this game. So I'm, I'm, whoever came up with that idea just like deserves a gold medal. Thank you. Holy shit! Fuck. See what I mean about how this game just all of a sudden gets hard. It never died. Never died in Act One before. Level 16. Sweet. All right, so here's all my abilities. I think. See, look, I just got Runestone right there, so I'll just put that on. There's a new ability right there. Gain life for dealing damage for three seconds. So that's just a new ability they got. It's a defensive ability. It goes under number one. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Probably just gonna give it a try there. Steady aim as long as there's. Oh, hold on. This one's maximum hatred or increases 25. And as long as there's not enemies within 10 yards, all damage increased by 25 or 20%. That's pretty cool, too. Pretty cool, too. Has Magda reached Alcanus? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then I cannot delay any longer. Open the gate. Cain's death will soon be avenged. Alright, yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, I, I, used, I had an, I have an, a barbar, barbarian. Oh, I can't talk right now. I have a barbarian. Also, is another one of my characters. Uh, you know, between the barbarian and the demon hunter, I would say the demon hunter is more fun for me to play. Actually, you know what? That's actually a tough decision for me to say. I don't know. They're both equally fun. I haven't really decided. I have like a level 10, 12, something like that, Barbarian. But I heard Monk was actually really, really fun to play as too. I think there's there's five different classes. There's Monk, Priest, Barbarian. Or No, it's Monk, Witch Doctor, Barbarian, Demon Hunter, and Wizard. So yeah, I thought it was it was kind of a tough choice for me, but I, I started my game out as a barbarian. You know, I just kind of wanted to try out a different class, and I tried Demon Hunter next, and I kind of stuck with him. I did try Witch Doctor. Didn't like him too much. It didn't impress me for the first few levels. I think I played him until six, and I was just like, wow, and this is kind of I don't know. Didn't like it too much. Other people, it's a really popular class though. My hatred is too low. Oh yeah, this guy has things called the hatred and discipline. Hatreds for offensive attacks. You can see it in the bottom right hand globe. It's the red thing. It in, like it regenerates really fast, but it gets used really fast also. The blue thing is called like discipline, and it's used for defensive moves, and that regenerates really really slow. So you have to kind of like balance it out. Fucking sand sharks here. You will be a thorn in our side no longer. Holy shit. There's a fucking mob. You know, pretty soon, uh, on one of these videos upcoming, um, T uh, Manushka, the guy I'm playing with, is Tanner. Is He's the guy, uh, from one of our, for some of our first videos, actually. He stopped doing it, uh, because he didn't have enough time. But, uh, he was in our first Old Republic videos. He did them with me. Really, really fun to play with. I, I kind of convinced him to get Diablo. He's been playing with me. But uh, as I was saying, pretty soon, uh, we're going to figure out how to get his voice on here online. Uh, I think it's something to do with Ventrilo. Why not? I just need to figure out how to get a server up or something like that. And I can record his voice and, you know, stick it in. But, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, it definitely, definitely makes the videos a lot, a lot funnier when uh, he's in here. If you look back at our uh, Old Republic videos, you know, I can still laugh at those right now. It, it's just so funny. If you haven't watched them, well, I mean, he, he, like I said, he kind of stopped doing it. Uh, you know, I don't remember how many videos he did with me like five or six or something like that but uh look at what look, look at some of the first old uh, star wars old film videos and he'll be in them will be so but like i said i plan to uh plan to get in here pretty soon get him into these videos these diablo, diablo videos my hatred is too low Considering he's a barbarian, that just like fucks everything up. It's kind of funny to hear how he reacts whenever he makes someone's head explode. Not enough hatred. Ugh. Okay, what here? Ooh. 
Okay. Yep. That's good. Yeah, definitely dropping items for one another is a really, really good idea. Because you guys on don't see each other's items on each other's screen. You guys get your own items per game, so you kind of have to trade your items accordingly to different classes whatnot. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video here. So I'll see you guys in uh, the next Diablo videos. So, peace.